really greasy right now. It's stinging quite a lot, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I'm not sure if it's supposed to feel like this. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. That was crazy. <laughs> why I'm here this morning. This is not thriving. I am um, not looking my best. I think we need a bit of a reality check this morning that um, this is what I look like 99.999% of the time in lockdown. I have some new skincare products by new I mean I have two things that I'm really excited about and have never tried before so instead of you trying them I can try them for you um, I have a couple new makeup bits added to my makeup routine I do it slightly different now so I thought I could give you a little updated makeup routine and transform this corpse into a beautiful goddess goddess could never um I also can you see my lovely covid tests I need to do a covid test this morning Not my favourite, but you know, maybe you could come along with me for the journey. I really don't like it. Actually, I don't find them too bad. It's just the nose. I don't like the nose bit. I really, bleh, I hate anything going up my nose. So to start off, I have this. Everyone's been going on about this. I think, wait, this isn't the real one, is it? No, the ordinary did the original one. Oh my god, it's the basically a dupe of the ordinary peeling solution, um, but it's by Revolution, the multi acid peeling solution intense peeling solution now my skin is literally allergic to anything that touches it including literally my hands so the chances of this actually working and not bringing me out in a huge rash um is slim but we can give it a go why not rip our skin off at 10 o'clock in the morning on a sunday okay this is what it looks like beautiful isn't she i don't I don't know how you work this, but it said it's like a mask, so I think you literally leave it on for like no longer than 10 minutes, and then you wash it off with your face wash maybe? I don't know, someone correct me if I'm wrong. I also have this Rehab Lash Serum. Now, my lashes, you can't see them, exactly, they're literal stumps. Um, so they need as much rehab as possible, so I thought, why not give it a go? It was literally like five quid, no I don't know, I can't remember how much it was. But, um, it's literally like a pen so i'm not really sure how you get this on your eyelashes without it all dripping into your eyes but again because my eyes are very sensitive probably won't work but we'll give it a go so i'll come back to you in four weeks to see if it's working but i'm gonna put these on now and then i'm gonna make a coffee because i will be the walking dead if i don't have a coffee <gasps> walking dead oh my god i'm addicted i can't stop watching it me and matt have started the walking dead and Let's just put it this way. We've watched three seasons in a week, I think. Tie my hair back. You know it's getting serious when I put it into a low ponytail. Okay. Now, I, I don't know how you do this. This literally looks like blood. I don't, I don't know how much to put on. Where do you put it? Do you put it all over your face? I don't know. <gasps> okay. Oh, it's burning. It's stinging. Ah. Oh my God. Half of this bottle is in my sink. I'm still not looking my best. Okay. I think I've done it right. <clears throat> I think I've done it. I'm not sure. Have I done it? It's stinging quite a lot. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm not sure if it's supposed to feel like this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, girl. I look so good. I really treat you on a Sunday morning, don't I? Oh, my God. My shower cap. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to put some of that lash serum on now, but I'm going to be honest. I'm going to do it off camera. Otherwise, I will poke myself in the eye and never be able to see again. Um, I do think you're meant to do all of this in the evening, but... Fuck it. Um, let's not make myself look like a boy with this hairstyle. Um, I'm gonna go make an iced coffee now so that I don't look like a corpse and I can get my day started. Sunday morning COVID test. 
I feel like I'm a pro at this now. Anyone else? What do I have to do first? Can't remember. I just said I was a pro at this. I need to wash my hands. That's what I need to do. Is anyone else really scared to get the vaccine? I'm not one of those people that's like fully against it, but I'm quite scared to get it. I don't know. Three, two, one. Don't watch me. Oh, I feel judged. Okay, I need to make my coffee because I'm not here right now. I'm I'm here physically, but I'm not here mentally. Oh, I mean, my face isn't stinging anymore. That's always a bonus. Chuck it all in. We've got ice, obviously a lot of it because it's a nice coffee. Love that. We do a TikTok dance. This is the only one I know. I can't do it. Why well, I seem to get in my head that I can dance when I can't. And I just need to remember that I can't before I do it it's too late. Do you know what I mean? Um, and yes, cow's milk because milk was made for drinking I guess I don't know I just don't like oat milk I know everyone's all like oat milk coconut milk but I don't like it I think it's horrible oh the kettle's done and for the final finale oh god I hope this goes right add the coffee to the milk it can't be that hard it can't be that hard can it oh she's only gone and done it she's only gone and done it with no spillage Oh, heaven. I'm gonna wash my face now. Um, I'm not gonna do it on camera because that's really not my best angle. Um, and then we're gonna come back and start on the makeup because it's not a good look for me right now. So I'll see you in a moment. The fact that I actually looked more human with a face mask on is scary. Let's get this started, baby. So since skincare always comes first, oh. Okay. <laughs> My moisturizer's run out. Since when? Okay, we're gonna have to scrape out the lid. So I use this number seven daily moisturizer. Um, it's literally one of the only ones that I'm not allergic to. That and boot zone. I love this moisturiser though because it's really light on your skin but equally it's so like deeply moisturising. <laughs> and then I just use over the top of my moisturiser before I start my makeup this CBD Revolution um, facing, facing? Facial Nourishing Spray. Um, I actually, I think everyone has literally got this idea from Flossie and Olivia Neal, let's be real. I don't know what it does but it just does it, okay? Um just douse my face in that what does that mean i'm not sure is that even a word douse did i mean drown i meant drown not douse what the hell does douse mean so i always start by brushing up with my eyebrows um i'm gonna be honest this does not look pretty this really doesn't look pretty um this is a spoolie that i use <laughs> and it's just this soap brows by beauty bay is it by Beauty Bay? I'm not sure, but it's from Beauty Bay. Um, it literally does wonders and holds them up all day. But it doesn't look pretty anymore, so I'm going to do it off camera because it won't go well. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I've just brushed them up and then I just go over it with my finger like that. And I kind of like just repeat brushing and then with my finger a couple of times just because it seems to hold it up more. I don't know if it actually does, but I believe it does. We've got some eyebrow volume back. They're back in town. Um, so once I do my eyebrows, I fluff them up with the um, soap first, um, purely because I feel like if I do it after my base makeup, like foundation concealer, I just feel like I end up brushing away half of my foundation on my forehead, um, and that's not a good look. So I do it first. I look really greasy right now. 
Just gonna push my hair back. Oh wow, look at me, <laughs> look at me shine. Oh, I just used this L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation in the shade 25 rose ivory um i love this foundation i don't know what it is about it but it's just really light on your skin everyone seems to be raving about it on tiktok as well i genuinely just squirt it onto my face maybe i shouldn't do that right now no i'm gonna do it this is my makeup routine i do like that on my cheeks and then just blend i literally batter myself with this beauty blender it is bad i should probably stop I don't think anyone understands how hard it is to do your makeup literally in a camera. Like, I've got a mirror here, but the lighting's terrible. And I just go in with the L'Oreal Also Infallible. It's like the matching 24-hour more than concealer to the foundation. Um, in shade Ivory 322. Um, with this, I just... I feel like everyone does this at the moment. Just put a tiny bit in the corner of my eye. And then up there like that. I think it's like facelift makeup don't think it lifts my face but it definitely looks better not highlighting like this bit of your cheeks a little bit on my chin and there because we've got a fat off spot coming love that for me oh my god my eyes will tring no don't do this mm. oh my god it's stinging why is it stinging did i just get some in my eye oh my god it's gone cloudy help sorry about that just literally had to apply all the concealer again because I literally just cried it off. I'm not sure what just got into my eye, but she's really stinging. <sighs> oh my god. This is not meant to happen. Um, so I also then just put concealer under my eyebrows to sort of carve them out a little bit. Um, but again, I'm going to do that off camera because <laughs> that would be an absolute shambles if I did it on camera. Okay, eyebrows are carved. Base done. Now I just go in with like a cream contour. I've only recently discovered this. I feel like I'm really late to the party. I basically got these two contour sticks from Revolution. Um, as you can see, I've done a big Revolution haul recently. It's a problem. One's in the shade F10 and one's in the shade F14. Now F14 is quite dark, so it depends how I want my makeup today. But I think I'm gonna go more natural, so I'm gonna just use a tiny bit of that one, but a lot more of that one. So of this one, I literally just, oh my god, this is hard. Put the tiniest bit like there, and the same on this side. Okay, that was actually quite a lot. And then I just put a tiny bit there, a tiny bit there. That's enough of F14 for today. But then we'll just go in more with this one. just blended them together like that kind of put that all along the forehead like that wow don't know how to look insane blend out yet again with the same beauty blender i know this is quite vile but just leave it be but again i kind of just take that up more into the temple I always put the darker bits of the contour on like the sides of my forehead just because I feel like it kind of I don't know what it does it just makes me look feel nice up <laughs> and then I also go in with a cream blusher Um, it's this cheek heat by Maybelline sheer gel cream blush in the shade 15 nude burn just looks like that um I'm, I didn't even know Maybelline did this gonna be honest um but I just kind of dab it up here into my temples. Um, how do I do this? Ah, all up there. Like so. Just like that on each side. And oh my God. My beauty blender just did a runner, blend it out. But I take it a lot more into my temples now. I feel like this blush is just really natural. It's very subtle. 
very subtle but I feel like it would look a lot nicer with a very natural makeup as in like if you didn't have foundation on just a little bit of concealer and that blush in the summer with a tan I just think it would look so nice okay so that's all of my cream makeup now so I just go in with my setting powder this is the Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder in the shade transparent literally 001 transparent because I don't think there's a skin shade that's light enough for my pale skin um, so we just go transparent so I just put it in like that get about that much and literally just put it under my eyes but kind of take it up there like so loose face powder just gets everywhere it's horrible um, whilst that is setting, I then go into my eyebrows the tiniest bit with a bit of um, brow pomade. I just use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. And just these little spoolie and brow brush end literally from Savers, about one pound. Um, and just kind of go into the corners of my brow here just to make it look a tiny bit fuller. This lighting's making my eyebrows look really blocky but it just adds a tiny bit of more fullness to the corners. So then I just go in with this Real Techniques brush. I need to clean this, not gonna lie, because I don't feel like it makes my under eyes look brighter. I feel like it makes it look darker because I literally have bronzer in it. Um, but I just wipe off the setting powder. And just kind of pat the rest of my face. And then I just go over the bits that I contoured with this bronzer. This is the Revolution bronzer, mega bronzer in the shade Zero Two Warm. Not gonna lie, this is quite dark, I'm gonna be honest. When I bought it, it didn't like, in the packaging, it didn't look so dark. Okay, that's a lie, it does. But um, I just didn't realise how orange it would be. So I literally put tiniest bit on the brush and just go over like my forehead and then the tiniest bit again and just like take it in there and then I also just go in with this blush palette from Benefit the Real Cheeky Party um and I use a little bit of this one, this one, and this one. I think this one's called, like, oh, you can't even see. I think this one's called Coral. That one's Rock, Rockateur, Coralista, and Sugar Bomb is what I use. And a little bit of Dandelion sometimes, but I don't really find that too much. And I'll just take a bit of those three colours and pop it up in the temples. This side of lighting is horrible. It literally looks criminal. And then, I don't know if you can see, but I just feel like the makeup just kind of goes like that a bit more, rather than sitting all on the, like, what do you call that? Like, the tips of your cheeks. I don't know. I just take it up more into my forehead, and it kind of goes, whoop. <laughs> Goodness me, the order of this makeup is so irrational. Nose contour. I just take a bit more of this bronzer on this little eyeshadow brush, I think it's literally an eyeshadow brush, and go in, I just go in there on the corners, take it down and kind of take it into my eyes like that on both sides. I'm going to do that off camera because it will go horrendously wrong. Can you see that? Catfish! So I just blend it out now. Just draw that line and blend it, take it up into the eye. Make it look natural. <laughs> okay, so that's blended, but then I just take my beauty blender that's kind of got like residue of concealer on and I just like go up the nose and down the middle again just to kind of, I don't know, not look like it's just bronzed all the way down. Just sort of like that. And now my nose looks skinny. <laughs> Catfish. And then this again is the same as last time, just this misguided glow bar. I need. I really need to invest into a better highlighter. I used to have an Urban Decay one that I literally lived and died using, but it ran out because I smashed it on the floor. And I've never been able to get anyone since, so I need to invest into one of those. But again, I just take that up. My temples with my blush brush. Probably shouldn't use my blusher brush, but we move. I feel like this side of lighting is so much better. What is going on? literally put a little bit on my forehead and chin just to give my bit of a glow and take it down the bridge of my nose 
they top it on the top. Like so, and then a little bit in the corner of my eyes, and I kind of just like blend it out. What does that even do? I swear it's like meant to make your eyes either look closer together or further away. And I can never remember which one it is. Also just to state, obviously I'm aware I'm a no makeup artist. This is just my, no, this is not even everyday makeup routine. Can I just state this is not everyday makeup. I do not put this much effort into my everyday look. Um, I have actually been going to school recently. Wow. That was crazy. Um, I've been going to school recently with zero to no makeup on zero to no makeup on that does not make any sense but i literally faked on my forehead brush up my eyebrows and put some mascara on and i'm so proud of myself for not wearing any skin makeup and clogging up those pores even though the fake tan probably does that so i just curl my eyelashes first i always get scared that this will rip my eyelashes out Oh, wow, they nearly got stuck. So I'm just going to move the Max Factor 2000 calorie waterproof volumized mascara. Why is it called 2000 calorie? Why am I out of breath? I've done nothing. I've literally just done nothing. I'm doing my makeup and I'm out of breath. <sighs> Do I have asthma? No, I'm not gonna lie and said that I was good with that mascara then. I think that's the worst, worst mascara I've ever done. It's all over my eyelids. Um, but we're gonna move with it, okay? Move past it. Um, I'm just gonna go in with a bit of eyeliner. This is literally and really, really, really old, I don't know if you can tell, number seven eyeliner. I just do a little tiny bit in the corners of my eyes, just to really, um, emphasise. No, I just do it. I really need to sort my hair out. What is this? It looks like rat's tails. Um, so I just use this NYX lip liner first. Um, NYX professional makeup, lip pencil, crayon in the shade natural. Um, but I just sort of go under that bit, over those bits a little bit, um, but keep this line all the same. So it kind of like makes this bit and this bit look a little bit bigger. I don't know if that makes sense. I feel like everyone does that with lip liner, but I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so that's the lip liner done. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it just kind of gives them a bit more of a plump. That lip filler that mum won't let me get. <laughs> and then I just squeeze the absolute shit out of this dandelion lip gloss. Um, I've literally had it since I was about year eight. It's literally a sample tester. Um, but I'm still squeezing some out of it, so I guess it's everlasting. And just blend it into the lip liner. Perfect. Let me just check that's blended because I can't actually see. I've gone quite glam today. Love that. Um, oh my god. Hair in my lip gloss. That is not a good look. I hate that. That is one of my biggest icks like in myself is my hair going in lip gloss. Okay, so there is the end of my makeup routine. I hope you liked it. <laughs> Um, yeah, bit of an update from last time, considering that my first ever YouTube video was a makeup routine. That's pretty crazy. That was only like two months ago as well. That's mental. That feels like so long ago. And so yeah, I will end this video here. I hope you enjoyed my little sort of morning transformation slash routine slash makeup transition. I don't know. I know I'm a big catfish, but just let's move past it. Um, I hope you like the makeup. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.